Dad A, fellow miners, and welcome back to my Feed the Beast Unleashed test world. This is another episode in my Feed the Beast Unleashed Armitage Explained series, and today we are going to be doing a block spotlight, or more precisely, precisely a multi-block spotlight. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the um, quantum network bridge from Applied Energistics. Now, what is a quantum network bridge, I hear you ask? Well, it is... A, that's a very good question. It is a multi-block structure that is built like so. So eight of these quantum field rings around the outside and then a quantum link chamber in the middle. You can see it formed the structure. And what it does is it allows you to pair two of these uh, multi-block structures together and remotely connect uh, different networks, different ME networks. Um, and this will work interdimensionally. So you could have one of these here on the overworld and then one, and later on we'll do it. We're going to go into the Twilight Forest and we're going to put one in the Twilight Forest and it will allow you to access your image storage, your main ME storage from another dimension or from, you know, a remote location pretty much anywhere, basically, as long as you have a pair of these uh, quantum, uh, quantum network bridges set up. Okay, a few things we need to do. You need to uh, do a little bit of preparation before you're ready to actually complete um, the bridge between the two um, network bridges. What you need to do is you need to build one of these, an ME condenser. Um, and an ME condenser um, basically is kind of like a, um, a the ME network's version of a garbage disposal, essentially. Um, you can... You can just throw items into it and it will get rid of them. You can see that pork chops are just disappearing. You can also um, create different items with it. One of the first items is this here, um, a matter ball. These are used in the matter cannon. We're not going to co uh, concern ourselves with this. Um, the other thing you can make is a singularity. And now this is important. This is one of the components required to create the links between the two ME uh, quantum network bridges. Um, and how do you actually make this con this uh, singularity, I hear you ask? Well, what you want to do is you want to have an ME, uh, a 64K ME storage unit, at least half full. Uh, like, let's take this one. This one is um, full. This one is a little bit over half full. And what you want to do is you want to, you saw there was a button here, you want to change this button to condense into singularities. You then want to take your ME, your 64K ME storage disk and place it in this slot. Um, now you'll see that this is just getting trashed and nothing's happening over here. What we need to do is we need to place something in here. So we're just going to take that out for now. We're going to go over to our magic chest here and we'll grab a, a storage cluster. Now the storage cluster is um, is the highest level of the the like in storage the internal storage uh, component for your ME storage devices. So it's the the part that's inside a 64k um, storage disk or storage unit. And what you need to then do is place the storage cluster into this slot in the middle. And it's important; it has to be a storage cluster. The smaller clusters don't have enough, quote, data storage, unquote, to uh, be compressed into a singularity. So what you then do is you take your ME disk and place it in. You'll see that starts to drain again. But what we have going on over here is you can see there's a, now a number or a, you can't quite make it out, but there's a, there's a uh, progress bar here, which is slowly going up. You can just see tiny, tiny speck of red at the bottom there. But you can see the number counting up. There we go. It got a little bit bigger. And what it is doing is it's taking the contents of this storage device and it's compressing it and it's going to create the singularity. And we'll come back to that later. I actually have one I made before. Um, we'll take all of this stuff and we'll take this stuff here too. We'll look at that later. Um, in order to make the components to link these two, you need to start with your singularity. You then need to take an ender pearl and put it into a pulverizer. Um, 
I'm pretty sure you can put in a macerator as well, but I'll, I'll just I'm just going to use a pulverizer, and you get this ender pearl dust. Now be careful because there's two types of ender pearl dust. If we have a look in uh, our um, our NEI, you will see that there is this ender pearl dust here, and then there's this ender pearl dust here. Now, this ender pearl dust is created by putting an ender pearl into a furnace or um, uh, you know, uh, by smelting it, that's not going to work. That dust will not work. That that dust is from, I believe, the Portal mod, um, and it will not work for this f um, creation of our uh, our well, their um, entangled quantum singularities, I believe, is what they're called. Now, these are created in pairs. And what you do basically is you literally throw um, the well, not literally. You actually, yeah, you literally throw <laughs> the singularity and the dust on the ground, and you can then take any any source that will create an explosion. And I'm going to be using this tiny TNT, which is uh, an applied energistics recipe. It's just two gunpowder and two of either quartz dust. And I'm going to place it there in the middle, and then I'm going to step on this magic plate and set off the TNT. And boom, there you go. You see it's created two little blue uh, circles, quantum entangled singularities. Uh, and that, what these do is they are paired up. These two quantum um, entangled singularities are paired with one another. Um, my recommendation would be to rename them. So put them in your anvil. And name them to what you are. So let's just call this um, Twilight. Oops, that's to Twilight Forest because that's where we're going to link them to. So there we go. They're now called the Twilight Forest. That way, you're the pairs. If they ever get mixed up or somebody messes around with them, you'll be able to figure out which which is which. And what we do is we take one of these and we place them inside our um, quantum link chamber. Now you can see little pretty little particles flying around inside that uh, chamber there. That means that it has uh, an in a singularity inside it, a quantum entangled singularity. The other thing we need to do is we need to connect our bridge to our ME system and we do that again from this bigger component here. Um, to our system and then we we also need to run power to uh, to the bridge the bridge does not get power it does not take power from uh, your uh, ME network it needs to be individually powered and I am going to be using MJ's but EU will work just as well and there you go you can see the blue lights just came on then um, we might just quickly pop that out you can see there's no blue lights and then if we pop that on boom blue lights um, the amount of power used by each of these um, bridges is equivalent to I believe it's 200 units um, so like when you look in your hemi controller you can see this is using 21 units each unit is equivalent to so much MJ or so much uh, EU I believe one unit equals one unit equals five EU or two MJ? No, other way around, five MJ or two EU. So this will require a hundred, a hundred EU or forty MJ to power. Um, so be aware of that, and it needs to be individually powered. Okay, so that is one side of the system set up. I am going to go through the Twilight portal and. I'm going to do some setting up on the other side and when I'm done I will come back to you. Alright guys we are here in the Twilight Forest you can see uh, oh, look there's a big castle off in the distance and just to make sure that you know that I'm actually in the Twilight Forest <laughs> here is our, our other side of our quantum bridge um, and as you can see it will work equally as well on the horizontal plane as it does on the vertical plane uh, and it will work equally as well on EU. I'm powering it with this quantum generator, um, which is a, crea a creative power source. It 
it's not uh, not craftable in the game and our quantum link chamber has the twilight forest quantum entangled singularity in it holy crap that's a lot of big words <laughs> uh, again you need to power these larger cubes uh, the corners will not work but now we can actually hook up actually we'll take this singularity out you see this is still getting power but if we place down our ME access terminal you'll notice that it doesn't have any power and it's saying that it's unable to communicate with uh, the controller that is because the link no longer exists between this quantum uh, network bridge and the quantum network bridge in the overworld um, I have a chunk loader here and there has to be a chunk loader in the other at the other end of your um, quantum um, network bridge to make sure that it remains loaded um, but we'll pop that back in and as you'll see as soon as I pop that in little flashes of light came from the ME cable our ME terminal is now uh, lit up and you can see we can access the half million cobblestone that is in the network in the overworld um, something else to note these um, each unit you place on this side of the bridge will actually add instead of instead of getting its power from this or the bridge it will actually get its power from the other side so we've got um, we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we've got ten ME interfaces and an access terminal and um, we'll go back through the Twilight portal and we will not step into there. Hello, wild boar. And if we have a look at the ME controller here, you'll notice it says two, uh, it shows up two access terminals and 20 um, ME interfaces. That's because I have 10 interfaces here connected to these igneous extruders to create my cobble for my singularity, which it has created. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's run out and it's got a little bit of extra. So, it's about two singularities per full 64k storage disk um, which is kind of you know it's not difficult to do this is full again oh that was full before um, but it doesn't take very long to generate that much cobble and if you really wanted to be tricky about it you could probably change it into half slabs to make it a bit faster but you'll see that yeah, as I said uh, there's 20 um, interfaces and two uh, two access terminals and you can see this is now using 32 units so it's using more power than it was before the um, the quantum link and um, quantum network bridge was connected on the other side there so this is actually providing power through this to the ME components on the other side so that be mindful of that the more stuff you add um, the more power your ME system will use um, and I don't think these actually add anything to the total power because they have their own power supply. Um, so that, that, folks, is the Quantum Network Bridge from Applied Energistics. Extremely useful uh, block if you, um, if you want to have access to your main storage pretty much anywhere in the uh, known Minecraft universe. <laughs> um, Yes, you can have multiples of these. For every additional um, connection you want to make, you need to have another pair of these and another pair of these entangled uh, quantum entangled singularities. Um, and that will allow you to have like multiple um, networks. On the Hypermine uh, modded server, I have one, two, three separate um, I guess you would call them clusters of networks um, spread throughout. One for my beekeeping, one and one in my uh, treehouse, and one in my other base that I've built. Um, so yeah, that is the quantum network bridge from Applied Energistics. Guys, I want to thank you for watching, but most of all, keep on digging. <laughs>